Uh, it was a Thursday night in Lodo. You know, things had kind of quieted down. We had pretty much gotten the streets cleared. And I got into my police cruiser, an expedition, which was parked against a curb. And the lane of traffic that was next to me was the only through lane because next to that was a couple parked police cars with their lights on. There were some officers that were dealing with some folks on the opposite sidewalk. I got in my car to leave and there was a car stopped next to me in the through lane of traffic. You know, the light was green, all the traffic had gone, and this car next to me, I didn't want to pull out in front of it. I leaned forward and looked through my window, and the driver of the car next to me was pulling a gun out from underneath his front seat and was pointing it over his left shoulder. I remember, like, questioning myself. Am I really seeing somebody pointing a gun at these people over here? And at that time, I, I drew my weapon and fired twice. One round struck the suspect in the face. As I got out of my car to get to a better place of cover, he just kind of drove off as if nothing had happened. So I'm trying to get back in the car, put my gun away, grab the radio, put the car into drive, and I pulled him behind him, put on the overheads, and uh, you know, he stopped, he got out of the car, and uh, the weapon was recovered, and he had, they transported him to the hospital, he had one gunshot wound. You know, I, I hope he bought a lottery ticket because the bullet went through each cheek, and from what I was told, didn't even knock out any of his teeth. I am very grateful that my training kicked in and that I responded in a manner that prevented injury to them. You know, I, I wouldn't have been able to live with myself if I would have hesitated or if I would have missed and he would have gotten some shots off and hurt and killed, hurt or killed a fellow officer or a citizen. I mean, that would be something that, you know, I wouldn't be able to live with. You go to work every day saying, man, you know, if something gets ugly, I hope that I react and respond appropriately in the way that I've been trained. And, you know, you just never know until you're in that situation. And again, fortunately, I, I can't say it enough that everything worked out favorably in this, in this instance.